What do you think of it? Maya, my sister. I will not just get married to her because she is from a royal family. You already know my past experience with Annie. So I just need to take my time. You are the king. The king of Obudu Kingdom. As your little sister, you know I will always support you. As long as you are doing the right thing. You certainly she is beautiful. She is smart. She is intelligent. And quite adorable. But your brother needs a wife. The people of Obudu Kingdom needs a queen. You, my sister, you need a friend. You need a mother-in-law. You need a sister-in-law. You need a gist partner all in one. So we don't need to make mistakes. Okay? You're right, brother. Like I said, I would only support you as long as you're doing the right thing. Uh, unless I forget, AKZ is around. Oh, I invited him. Okay. Uh, you should go and see him then. I think I need a of print to be added to my drugs. I'm feeling dizzy. Okay, I'll talk to the doctor about it. Daddy. Ah. Mommy, good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, Daddy. Are you How going are to you? the mug? I am. Very well then, let me call an uh, educator to drive you to the mall. Uh, no, I... I'll drive myself. Are you sure you're okay driving yourself? Yeah. So, I'm okay, I can drive myself. Okay. No problem. Be careful. Oh, thank you. Excuse me for a moment. Did you see that, Mom? Dad allowed her to go. But if it were to be so much, she's not going anywhere as if I am permanently tied down in this palace. You don't need to worry about all that. Soon it will be over. I am not happy, Mom. About? The fact that you're pretending not to be aware of my sister getting married to Ekene, that annoys me. That is getting on my nerves. Will you just shut your mouth? You're too quick. You think I don't know you want King of Obudu Kingdom? What if you become queen here? Why your sister is married to the king? Think about that and stop being silly. I am saying what I am saying because each time I want to say my mind in this palace, you either shut me up or my sister comes with name calling and I don't like it. All the men I've ever wanted, my sister goes after them and she ends up having them. I will not let her do that to me this time around, just so you know. Do I get a microphone for you to tell me No, that? Mom, you don't have to because then I am not... Then you shut your mouth up. You've got big wings that you think you can now fly above the skies, right? I understand. Well, don't you understand? Everything you just said. You actually think you can now go about disobeying the others in this palace, isn't it? Why did you not give the khaki to Aduri when you were asked to? Oh. 
And do you seriously expect me to answer that? Am I talking to an idiot? Why did you not give the car key to Aduri? You know what? If this is what this is about, I'm not available. You will not. Kambili! Princess Adure is very mean. Why would she order her like that? I cannot buy two cars for her in this palace. This is pure greediness, so. Pure greediness. She has the most expensive car, expensive fans, and every other thing she wants. Why are you going for Princess Kambili's car? <laughs> She would have given her the car for peace to rent Bikono. We all know her princess Adure does as if she has mental problems. But she has her own car. <laughs> In fact, two cars. Why going for that particular Every one? Means. My dear, if I'm Princess Kambiri, I wouldn't have given her that car. Yes, oh. I wouldn't have. Her mother bought her that car as a gift. And she's actually going to the mortuary to pay her mother's dead body, a visit and equally exactly. pray. Oh. Don't you think her mother's spirit will be happy seeing her driving the car she bought for mm -hmm. her to pay her a visit? My dear, I'm just saying my own. No. It doesn't matter if I'm working for her, under her or not. It God doesn't. bless you for saying <laughs> the truth. Mm -hmm. Did you wear that for me? I didn't even know what to say. The food was very, very sweet. I enjoyed it too. <laughs> what are you nitwits doing there? Will you idiot head to your duty post at once? Okay. Thank you. Hey! Are you idiots? Come closer. Come closer. Now. You like complaining too much. Hey, hey. Step down. Lay down Step now. Down. Say you should My down. 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 I said on your knees, hey. you idiots. Jesus. My princess. Sorry, ma. Did you not hear me say? On your knees. On your knees. On your knees. Hey, 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 hey. I am talking to you. Sorry, Are you crazy? You no, sorry. sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. My princess, I'm sorry. sorry. All you know how to do is I'm blessed about the palace gossiping. Are you crazy? No, ma. Come on, will you stupidly get back to your duty Thank post? Thank you, my Get back Thank to you. your duty Ooh. post. Hey, see, see, see. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, get out of my sight. And what are you doing there? And why are you following me everywhere like a he-goat? Disappear! I said get out! Come back. Woman, what are you talking about? I should support Adure. Are you going not? My king, maybe that's the will of the gods. There is no will of the gods in this. This is total greatness and enviness, not being contented. I've always warned you to teach these children not to look wherever that will make them not to be contented with what they have, but you are always going opposite. It's only Cambri in this palace that is not giving me headache. Everyone else is giving me headache. I will not support your notion of this. Tomorrow is my wife's funeral. After that, one week later, Adure will get married to Ekene. That's final. Oh, my phone. Excuse me. In my own house. He's calling me. Get the person to leave.
sir, I'm not in the mood to talk about that one. I just do as we requested of you. Thanks for your understanding, man. My king, I, I want to render apologies, I mean, I'm sorry for how I sounded earlier. I've also thought about it and I realized that you're right. We should follow the do's and don'ts of the custom and tradition of this community. Adoration wait. She should wait to get married to Ekene in due process. You are the king. Your word is authority. Apologies. Yes, yes, that's fine. You see, if we have been on the same wavelength, there won't be this verbal bout before now, but it's fine. I'm happy you understand what I mean now. Thank you very much, my king. You're welcome. I, I beg to take my leave. What's going on? I've been calling you for the past two days, but you haven't been taking my calls. I am calling off the tradition of marriage. There will be no marriage between us. Wait, wait, are you joking? You know I've made preparations to come with my people to perform all traditional rites next week. Really? Yes. <laughs> but I'm going to make it so simple. Keep your ring to yourself. And please. Do not bring any tacky, wacky member of your generations to my palace. Only the name of paying for my bride price. It is not necessary anymore. It's over. Excuse me. My princess. Babe. I have to call my father. Hello, Papa. Yeah, the, the princess just left my house now and she gave me back my ring that she's calling off the marriage. Yes. Okay, I, I think I have to go after her then. All right, Papa. The doctor confirmed 
that my husband, your king, he were afraid of this kingdom, suffered cardiac arrest. Huh? Hmm. Please, I want all of us to be calm. Because he assured that all medical treatment will be given to him. In that case, we have to fly him abroad so that all the medical treatment needed will be administered. All I, I, I ask is for us to pray for his safety, his quick recovery, calmness, and peace in our kingdom. Please. Bad report. Bad report. The worst report ever had in this kingdom. Our queen, for your information, I knew his majesty too well, even before he married you. Yes, we are too close. He had never complained of common chest pain, not to talk of cardiac arrest. Ha! This is not acceptable to us. We reject the report. The doctor must answer, must answer for it. The doctor must answer for it. We reject it. Tell him we reject it. No, so why is it coming at such a strategic time? Why is it coming at such a strategic time when we have barrier in this palace? Huh? It cannot happen. Though. Our ancestors are not sleeping. The ghosts of our ancestors are not sleeping. The barrier will be peaceful and hair take free. Well, you all have access to the doctor. Hey. You can hear from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Chai! <laughs> Your Majesty, we are not adapting your words, but it's somehow fishy and unbelievable. As of yesterday, we seated with our king, he was in his flagrant seas and healthy. We are discussing the tragedy and custom of our people. You come next morning and hear a different story. No! I would accept that. No, it's not possible. We shall proceed to him. We shall not only hear from the horse's mouth, we can only go ahead and hear from the camel's mouth. Eh? Our king is not suffering any arrest. What is going on? What am I hearing? What is happening? What do you expect to answer your silly question? Eh? Yes. Remember, she wasn't there when she first started. What? Did I talk to you? Or what? did I tell you that I am daft? M Mother, please talk to me. What happened to father? Who should shut up? Eh? Look at this, this present. Who should shut up? Will you start that nonsense? M Mother, please talk to me. Where is my father? Your father collapsed this afternoon. Please, w w w why? I mean, w w what happened? Where is he? Why? Please where? Stop shouting. Why are you behaving as if you're the only child he's got? Mother, please just talk to me. Where's my dad? Where, 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 where has he been taken to? Which hospital? Talk to me, please. To know your hospital. Princess, <laughs> can't you wait for me? What is actually happening in this palace? Tell me, what is happening really in our palace now? Who knows what is happening there now? Oh no. It's here everywhere. I perceive lies. Yes. I perceive deceit from the mouth of that wicked woman. Oh. 
Let us go and see the doctor. And confirm what is wrong with our king. Yenugwe, we just have to go to the doctor and find out what's happening. That will make claim to our intelligence. Can you imagine? She doesn't even know we are the custodian and tradition of our people. We must go know. Oh no, you see. Uh, this woman is playing with fire. She is playing with fire. We have the support of our ancestors. And the male woman like her cannot hold the, the entire kingdom to ransom. Let me tell you this. The daughter is already expecting me. I told him we are on our way. <laughs> yes. Let me, go. Go. Let me tell you this. That woman must pay for every insult she meted on us. Good, good. But before then, I will tell the daughter that we are the consultants of the custom of this land. Oh. Hey, let's just go. Let's go. Let's go and see. Hey, it's here you are talking. <laughs> A male woman coming to show you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I told you. I told you that my sister never loved you. But you never listened to me. Just... Just look at the mess she's made of you at the dying minutes. I feel so much sorry for you. Is there so much? What do I tell my friends? What do I tell my family members, my relatives, and even my business associates. What do I tell them? You know, sometimes I wonder why the good get punished and the bad always get a jolly good ride to life. Anyway. Well, at this point, I will not blame my sister, but you. Yes. That's because I did all there is to be done. I gave you all the signs, all the signals, all the languages. I even spoke to you. I told you how much I loved you. I told you how much I genuinely want to be with you. But you never listened to me. You never paid attention to me just because you have been carried away by the love you have for my sister. And that makes me wonder, it makes me wonder the reason you, you don't even know the lady you've been dating. You don't even know my sister. My sister is a viper. A dreaded dragon. My sister is a demonic woman who wouldn't mind flipping you off the roof at will just to get what she wants. It baffles me you never saw all of that. Princess Omachi, my heart is broken. My heart is really heavy. I can't even explain how I feel anymore. I'm just going to leave it to God to judge us. No, not God. God, in his infinite mercy, gave you wisdom, brains to think, wisdom to act. He gave you the eyes to see hands and legs to be able to carry out simple tasks. He will not come down from heaven to make things happen for you. So when you call him, it's appalling to me. Don't worry. I am not biting. Listen. It's not too late for us to start all over again. Let me love you the way you deserve to be loved. Look, look. Pick up. Pick up your pieces. Hand them over to me. 
I, I will genuinely care for them. Look, stop, 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 stop this. It's, look, leave, leave, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just, just leave me alone. Please, I don't want all this. I don't want it. I can't. I can't take all this from you. I, I want you to leave my place. You right? are a fool. Look, I don't love you. I do not want you, and I can never love you. Hey. I'm going to ask you politely to okay. leave my. Look, if I go inside, if I go inside and come back here and meet you, you won't like it. Oops. Thank you. 